You could almost have heard a pin drop when Steven Gerrard slipped, letting Denver Bar to effectively end Liverpool's title challenge last season. It might be seven months ago, but to many here on Merseyside, it still feels like yesterday. Since then, the two sides have gone in distinctly different directions. The Blues sit proudly four points clear at the Premier League summit. Liverpool, who haven't been English champions for approaching a quarter of a century, are well off the pace and struggling too in Europe. Nevertheless, there's always a special atmosphere when these two sides collide head-on. Chelsea, of course, yet to taste defeat in any competition this season. Something of a war of words between Messrs Rogers and Mourinho after that 2-0 Blues win here back in the spring, although both insist they remain on good terms. You suspect that Chelsea will have rather more than the 25% of possession they had that afternoon. But as the special one pointed out, it's something of a misnomer to be accused of having an outright defensive mentality when you go away from home and beat a title challenger. As ever, it's simply about the result today. Well, so much scrutiny over the weakened side that Rodgers fielded in the Bernabeu. No surprise that a host of big names returned today, including Gerard himself, Raheem Sterling and Jordan Henderson. There's still no Daniel Sturridge through injury, and they have been vulnerable on home soil this season, having lost to Villa and drawn a blank against Hull. Jose Mourinho gave a few of his regulars a rest in midweek. The likes of Courtois, Cahill and Oscar are back in the fold today. And in fact, the starting eleven contains no fewer than seven players who've been ever-present in the Premier League this season. Ramirez starts in midfield and Diego Costa is up front, though he has been left out of the Spanish squad for next weekend's Euro qualifier. Liverpool get us away, all in red. Attacking the goal away to our left in this first period. And as I mentioned, they have been vulnerable at Anfield this season. Last time out in the league, they couldn't score against Hull City. That finished nil-nil. Aston Villa have won here already this season. Yeah, they just don't look that well, well-oiled unit that, that they did last year. Um, even football-wise, fluency-wise, they're, they're not passing the ball or possessing the ball as well. His Chan. Well, it was deflected, it seemed to have a slightly peculiar flight on it because it just came off a Chelsea defender and uh, Courtois was watching it, came off John Terry in fact. Yeah, I think it, as you say, it's came, it's came off Terry. Um, from where I was, I thought it was going to nestle in the top corner there, but I think, you know, seeing the replay, the goalie had it well covered. Bit of space here for Sterling to work with. And he's found Chan, who might try his luck from distance, deflected it in! Well, they stood initially off Sterling, then they stood off Chan, and Chelsea have paid the penalty, Liverpool lead. Yeah, it was, uh, to be fair, it looked like Liverpool were just playing it you know, slowly across the back, and then they're broken into midfield as the ball, I think, went into Coutinho or Sterling. No pressure on him, he's turned, played it into Chan, and we've seen it you know, in the first 30 seconds of the game, he's more than willing to you know, pull the trigger, and that time he gets a deflection that lands in the back of the net. Is Hazard with Ivanovic making himself available on this near side. He's got Hazard back in here. Good defending, but it will be another Chelsea corner. Fabregas with the away swinger. Costa got a header and so did John Terry. Brilliant save, not once but twice. Chelsea a wants goal. a goal it's and a goal. a goal has indeed been given. Goal. Well, Mignolet did everything he could to keep it out. But Anthony Taylor got the signal, the goal line technology told him the ball across the line, and Chelsea were only behind for four minutes. Yeah, the experience that they have, they never panic, they know that they've got quality on the field. Just for me, I, I, you know, marking zonal against Chelsea, so many big bodies, Costa gets a great first header, Terry's brave, super save. I'd like to see the goal line technology to see the whole ball cross the line here, but I'm sure Mourinho and the, the Chelsea team will take it. It's a great save from Terry's header, and then Cahill scooped it towards goal, well this will tell us it's yeah, the right decision goal. isn't it? Yeah, great decision and that was one of those that you know, without the technology may well not have been given Matic cut out by Gerrard great work from Coutinho and he's going to try the shot as well which Courtois couldn't hold, and in the end Ivanovic 
fortunately for Chelsea, got there first to clear it. Yeah, a great run for this little guy. He, he has that in his locker, the ability to go past people and carry it for 50, 60 yards. You see he bypasses Matic and Fabregas, and I tell you what, pulls the trigger, hit the target, that's all he can ask, and a good save from Courtois. Given away carelessly. On by Oscar, that's a brilliant ball. Here's Ramirez. And Azar hit Johnson, I think he turned his back on it. Knew nothing about it, but he kept it out. A really good chance. Yeah, great little ball through to Ramirez, and he does well again. He picks Hazard out with a better pass this time. But Glenn Johnson once again throws his body across the ball and, and makes a great stop. Diego Costa, Azar. Can he find a way through? Not quite. Mignolet saw that coming. Skirtle to Balotelli. That's half for Chelsea. Oscar to his left. Costa to his right. The team for Diego Costa. Lovren got something on it. Costa! Well, it was really inventive. <laughs> Almost something out of nothing. It was something out of nothing, and he's a big guy. And as you say, flicks it over the top. Great run from, great run from Eden Hazard. But midfield players, you know, jockeying and jockeying, you need to try and get closer to the ball and get a tackle in and stop his momentum. But as you see, anything to try and get a goal. Coutinho, Sterling, still Sterling. Very good save by Courtois because he might not have seen that till late. Excellent goalkeeping. And that's the difference, Trevor, when he comes in on his right foot. Here's Azar at the other end, threatening for Chelsea. He's made a lot of ground with it, and he's still going. And it was Steven Gerrard who blocked it at the expense of another corner. He could have had a goal at either end in the space of 15 seconds. Yeah, good play by both wide midfielders from both teams. Um, as I say, when you allow him to come inside and shift it, he's got fast feet and he moves the ball quick. And he's had a great shot and fantastic save. And then there's another break, but you're looking at the amount of time and space Hazard's getting to run at the Liverpool back four. You've got to imagine that Steven Gerrard's got to come across somewhere and, and, and make a tackle and put pressure on the ball, but it just seems end-to-end -end right now at times. Kept in by Aspilicueta, and he's got the better of Coutinho. He's done really well, and it might come here for Costa. Well, Costa will get the goal, but as Piliqueta deserves so much credit. Brilliant from the fullback, and Chelsea in front. I tell you what, great ball, great switch of play. Aspiliqueta does well to keep it in play, but I tell you what, the wide midfield player's got to be stronger. He can't let him get past him. He bodies him a little bit, puts a good ball in the box, and it falls to that man Costa. He takes a poor touch. Coutinho, he's got to get closer. Can't you've got him trapped on the sideline? Why does he allow him to come in? Hazard's unlucky, but I tell you what, ruthless hitman. There he's there. Falls to him in the box. Coutinho's got to be stronger here, Trevor. And he is absolutely deadly in front of goal. Double figures now for the season, and all ten have come in the Premier League. Level with Sergio Aguero in the race for the Golden Boot, but much more importantly for him and for his manager, Chelsea on course for maximum points here at Anfield. In towards Allen. Ted at the near post, might come for Henderson. Double deflection, that could have gone anywhere. It's a corner. And when your luck's going for you and things are going well, it ends up in the back of the net. When it's not, it goes out for corner kicks. It'll be a very happy journey back for those Chelsea fans. So Eden Hazard makes way for literally the last few seconds. Drop his chest. Since Costa scored, 
the Reds really haven't threatened. And it appears now that they have uh, run out of time. We've played the additional five minutes, a few more seconds being added on for that substitution, but I think the game's up for Brendan Rodgers here. Just, sorry, Trevor, it's a strange, strange day because they get a great start with the goal and you think, you know what, it's going to you know, inject them full of confidence and enthusiasm and passion. But it just never, the game never ignited from them at all. When Chelsea, when they equalised, then for me, just took over the game. Gerard goes long. This really is last chance saloon. Away by Ivanovic. Flick on by Fabregas. Drogba, Felipe Luiz, Williams kept on running. Well, that rather sums up Liverpool's afternoon. They finished beaten. It's another great win for Jose Mourinho on Merseyside. And that from behind after Emre Chan gave Liverpool an early lead. Cahill got Chelsea level almost immediately. And that man, Diego Costa, got the winner. It means Chelsea go marching on at the top of the Premier League. They're going to be at least four points clear still at the close of the weekend. They've beaten Liverpool by two goals to one.